Hey, my name is Ken Cohen, and I'm from Hyperspace. And today I'm going to show you exactly what we're able to do with our new assistant, Agatha, uh, to help us craft prompts for one of the clients that we're going to be working with. So to get started, we're just going to be dropped into the room, and we're going to click on Agatha and let her say hello. Hey there. I am here to help you create prompts to bring your AI agents to life. Ready to get started? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Can I play with the prompt generator? Absolutely. The AI prompt generator is a great tool for that. It will help you create role-playing prompts and more. Let me show you how it works. Here we go. Have fun with it. All right, so she has brought up the AI prompt generator tool for us. And what we're going to do is I have a use case that we need to get put together. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. You can see here, I've just asked it uh, to create a character that will play the part of a driver that has been rear-ended in a hit and run accident and needs rental car, but hasn't received any approval. They're stranded and emotionally overwhelmed. All right. So we give a little bit of context and we let the tool then walk us through uh, what we need to answer in order to be able to put together at least a first draft of a prompt that we can then drop into the system for us. All right, so what's the main goal? Um, I think that we want to um, I think we want to do a little bit of both, right? So we're going to say that we want the agent to demonstrate empathy while explaining policy and focus on finding immediate solutions. And let's say emotional intelligence rather than just empathy, right? And the tool is thinking here in the background. All right, we, let's say casual American English is good. So the tool is going to go through a series of about six questions or so. Um, and it really depends on how much context you give it in the first prompt. If you answer all the questions in the first prompt, then it's just going to maybe ask a few follow-up questions just to make sure that it has the general direction that you want it to take it, uh, taken care of. But if you just give it a very simple initial starter prompt, uh, like I did at the beginning there, uh, then it's going to go through all the questions and just gather all the information it needs in order to give you something that should get you about 80 to 90% of the way there, just right out of the box. Uh, I'm going to say that um, we want it to vary each time because we want to make this something that's replayable for the client. So every time they go in, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and if we wanted to, we could also say, we could also say to it should vary each time. And if we wanted to, we could also put here that, uh, allow the user to decide what kind of personality they want to interact with, but we're going to keep this one a little bit loose and simple. So that way, um, if somebody were to come in, it'd be more like a real customer service agent where every phone call is going to be a little bit different. And people's uh, states and attitudes and way of speaking is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to simulate the real world here. All right. Should we add some structure? Uh, yeah. Yes. Let's say that that's good. Start with the introducing, ask in this. There we go. Yeah, I think that's where we want to take it. All right. So I'm just copying and pasting exactly what the, the suggestions were. Um, obviously, if you wanted to do a different structure, you would go ahead and uh, just type that in and it'll take that into consideration when it's formulating the prompt for you. Let's see. Yeah, we do want some feedback. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So that's going to do, that's going to add to the, the later part of the prompt that after the simulation, um, it's going to go ahead and do some assessment or feedback. Um, and if we wanted to, once you see the final prompt, if you really wanted to, you could adjust things and give it specific scoring metrics. Um, you could weight, uh, one category over the other. You can fine tune all that stuff. Um, I think that's good. Yeah. Let's do both. All right, so we're going to have it focus on specific aspects of emotional intelligence as well as solution finding techniques. All right, so it's going to give us the prompt here. All right, so uh, right away we see that there are a couple things that we just need to tighten up here. 
And this is the fun part about AI, right? It doesn't necessarily always give you the exact same uh, output, um, but this draft prompt is pretty good. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to we're going to just go ahead and leave it here just to make sure that it's there. There's just a couple of rules, and they're just going to put some default rules when I say show me the final prompt. Yep. Perfect. Copy all of this. All right, all the way down to the end of the code block here. Uh, once we're done, we're just gonna click out of here. Uh, thanks, Agatha. You are welcome. If you need anything else of want to chat later, just let me know. Have a great time. So all we have to do to drop in a bot is we just click on the pencil menu here, add bot. I have some bots already pre-made here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use Atlas. Drop her in, click on the little gear icon here, come to chat AI integration. I just gotta drop in my prompt, all right? And it is really that simple. Now we're gonna actually test it. So I'm gonna throw in a an API key so that way we can test it. And this is something that you would just get uh, over at OpenAI. And obviously you never share it with anybody. We're gonna go ahead and for a mini, and all we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're actually gonna let you, the user, go ahead and start the experience and uh, and we'll go from there. And we're just gonna do continue conversation after response so that way it's a fluid conversation. And once we have those options done, we just go ahead and stop editing and now we should get Alice to interact with us. Hey Alice, this is Ken from Customer Service. How can I help you today? Um, hi, Ken. I, I just got into a hit and run accident and my car is totally undrivable. I'm stranded and really need a rental car, but I haven't gotten insurance approval yet. It's just really overwhelming right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Alice. Um, are you okay? Do you need any medical assistance? Um, yeah, I'm okay, thankfully. Just shaken up, you know? but I really need to figure out how to get a rental car so I can get home. Can you help me with that? All right, so there you can see that in under 10 minutes, we were able to craft a prompt that was giving, that gave us a working AI avatar who was able to play the role of a, a customer in distress. And we are able to then go ahead and pro provide a simulation where we play the agent and can try and help her through um, her situation. At the end of that interaction, uh, you would see that she would start to give you feedback on how you did based on the categories that we chose during the prompt creation process. And it's really that simple to get started with AI agents here with Hyperspace.